Okay, let's talk treats. So, you're gonna see a lot of stuff in this area that is really not very healthy. So, you need to make sure you know what to look for before you come in. For example, beef hoofs, great option. Um, this is 10 pieces for 10 bucks, great price. They um, have a tendency to be smelly, so if that bothers you, then I don't recommend them. The beef sticks are fine. Um, they sell these as, at a couple different places. This is a really big bag. Um, it's just dehydrated beef, which is good. Up here, you've got your buffalo horns. Those are also healthy. And you come down here and you start looking at bones that are brown. These are bones that have been cooked, right? They're basted, they're smoked. You wanna ignore all of that. So all of that and anything that's white has been bleached, right? So you see that? You wanna avoid that as well. Now, if we come over here, you can see that we have some trachea two packs. Those are fantastic. A little bit pricey, but not bad. Let's see, we got some bully sticks. Those are good. These are individual hoofs that have been stuffed. Um, I would just get the empty ones uh, that come in the bag right here and put your own stuffing in them. That way you can make sure that they're stuffed with stuff that's good for them. Let's take a look here. You don't want to do ribs. You don't want to do these processed pork ears. You, you don't want to do any of that. Any of this stuff that's braided, right? This is all, it says rawhide free, but it, it, that doesn't mean blockage free. It can still cause a blockage. It can still be problematic. And of course, some of these are just straight up rawhide. So that's this section with all of the bones. Okay, the next section that you will see is going to be your biscuits and other um, flour-based treats, bones, chews, whatever you want to call them. You should just skip right over this section. All of this stuff. Because if you go and look at the ingredients on these, let me just take a look at this one. Meat byproducts, soy grits, Look at that, sugar. It, it's just, this is diarrhea waiting to happen. Anything with biscuits is gonna be a problem, right? Like all of these soft treats, I mean, you're just asking for your dog to have diarrhea. Wheat flour, soybean flour, glycerin, rice flour, sugar. The, if you knew how many of these treats contained sugar, it would blow your mind. Now, the second thing I wanna to talk to you about is advertising that is not regulated. You see how this says USA made, 100% human grade, all of that means nothing. USA made just means that they packaged it in the US, okay? And then human grade dog treats means nothing. That's not a regulated term. And I can assure you that nothing goes into dog food or dog treats that's human grade. So again, this one has sugar in it and rosemary. So don't be, don't be tricked by the label. Don't be fooled by this and thinking that it's healthy for your dog because it's not. You keep coming down. You get into kind of like the jerky stuff. So like these are chicken tenders. 
right? They'll have one, maybe two ingredients. This one has two ingredients, chicken and a preservative. But if you do your research, you'll find that this wagon train was the company that had the huge uh, problem a couple years back and killed a whole bunch of dogs because they were, um, there was some unknown preservative in the treats you know, that, that came from the foreign country where it was packaged, right? So it, even if there's only two ingredients or even one ingredient, you still have to be smart and do your research. And of course, this is all just junk. Let's look at the ingredients here. Wheat flour, glycerin, wheat gluten, gelatin, powdered cellulose. I mean, this is just stomach irritation waiting to happen. Not to mention that these treats usually have quite a few calories and they're not doing anything for your dog's teeth. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so next up, we've got this whole section of dog food. And I am going to save you a lot of time and a lot of energy because there is no reason to look through all of this food because most of it you should not be feeding to your dog. There are a few exceptions if you're looking for something the Diamond Naturals Large Breed Lamb and Rice. It does contain more carbs than I would like to see in a food, but it's not terrible. So that's one option if you're on a budget. Additionally, the Wholesome's Fish Meal and Rice Formula, also a good option, also very affordable. So, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the only ones that are approved of the Wholesomes are the fish meal and rice and the large breed. Um, I'll have to look at my list to see if any of the others are okay, but I'm pretty sure the others contain legumes, so you don't want to, you want to stay away from legumes and potatoes. <laughs> It absolutely pains me to see stuff like this because they are allowed to just say whatever they want on these packages. They're not highly digestible. They're made of a whole bunch of garbage, as you can see by looking at the ingredients. And they can create blockages in the intestines. So why would you give this to your dog? Here's the other way the companies try to trick you. They try to trick you with other words that you might be looking for, like bully. If you were looking for bully sticks, for example, and saw this and you were in a hurry, you might grab the wrong thing. Also, instead of calling it rawhide, they just call it pork skin. Same thing. Okay, so here's a new one that I haven't seen before. It's on the farm. Chicken and ancient grains. Looks like I accidentally picked up the cat food. So let's take a look at the dog food. Okay. So let's look at the ingredients here. Right off the bat, we've got ground sorghum, ground barley, soybean meal, brown rice, animal fat. Okay, so it doesn't even tell you what the animal is. That's not good. Okay, dreaded natural flavors. Then we've got sweet potato. Ooh, and look at these percentages. Wow, this is very, very high, high carb. 
Here's the other thing that you have to watch out for in tractor supply. Your <laughs> significant other shopping for goodies. Mm -hmm. Look what I found. What did you find? Sorry, Floyd. Okay, great. And what else did you get? Brush for the spray brush. Oh, Pomeranian <laughs> brush. No, this is a metal brush. <laughs> Just, kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding.